Howdy, howdy. These are the stories that are making headlines this evening and the stories that I have been f following. Story number one is Kidure Kindiki and uh, Rigathi Keshagwa. The intrigues, the political intrigues continue. The story number two is uh, the swearing in of this gentleman uh, that is uh, Douglas Kanja as uh, the new Inspector General of uh, Police. And lastly, my Dholuo people, you must be an excited lord because uh, the word Dholuo has finally uh, been added to the Oxford English Dictionary. These are the stories that I'm going to be talking to you about. If you are a new viewer or a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed just as yet, kindly uh, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you are always number a chill to be notified whenever we put out a new uh, video. A fresh uh, twist in Mount Kenya politics as Nyandarua MCS now denounced Kindiki Bak Depi Gashagua. And Nyandarua members of County Assembly have uh, thrown their weight in support for Deputy President Regadi Gashagua, dismissing attempts to position Interior Cabinet Secretary Professor Kidure Kendiki as the new leader of the Mount Kenya region. Now, while distancing themselves from a meeting held in Muranga on Wednesday where Kendiki was said to be endorsed by a section of MCAs as the Mount Kenya Kingpin at the Nyandarua MCAs now say they that the gathering undermined the region's cohesion and misrepresented the will of the people. Math Murima. It was 48 members of parliament who denounced uh, Rigathi Gashagwa and endorsed Kendiki. All right. Then yesterday we saw over 200 Nchuri Ncheke, that uh, let me call them elders, who endorsed Kendiki. All right. And later in the same day, over 300, 300 MCAs also got to endorse Kendiki. So Kindiki was winning all through until today where a section of uh, members of uh, the of MCAs from Nyandarua Nyandarua decided that hey for us we are not a part of this team and Regathi Gashagwa is uh, Rigiji is still our kingpin also Ket Waruguru uh, Ket Waruguru Waruguru is in a huge support of Regathi Gashagwa. Now, who you who is watching, where do you think that this mathematics ends at? Kindly tell me in the comment section. And what way exactly is Regathi Gashagwa going to be able to fight off the impeachment that is looming? President William Ruto has appointed Douglas Kanja as the new Inspector General of Police. A day after his appointment was ratified by the National Assembly, Mr. Kanja was sworn in on Thursday by the Chief Justice Martha Kome at the Supreme Court in Nairobi and becomes, get this, the sixth Inspector General since the promulgation of the Constitution and the new Constitution to be specific and the 16th since 1964 three key things to do in his position as Inspector General. Let us go to the Board of Mathematics to let you know what are these three things. These are the three things that uh, Inspector General uh, Douglas Kanja is supposed to do. Thing number one, number one, Masengeli. What has Masengeli done? Now Masengeli uh, is under fire because uh, he has to serve six months, six months, in jail. Why does he need to serve six months in jail? There is a ruling by Judge Mugambi that he refused uh, to honor and uh, the seven days, the seven days that he was given by Judge Mugambi have elapsed, literally. So he has to go to jail. But the key question is, how does Kanja, Kanja get to deal with all of this. That is issue number one. Issue number two that Douglas Kanja is supposed to deal with, the three gentlemen, three gentlemen uh, who were abducted during the demonstrations uh, a few months ago. And these three gentlemen have never, have never been seen and their whereabouts have never been known. Even the wife of one of the gentlemen wrote a damning letter, wrote a letter to President William Ruto asking uh, for justice or requesting for information uh, for the whereabouts of uh, her loved one. But the uh, question is, how is a uh, new Inspector General uh, going to handle this particular issue? This is the third thing that the IG is supposed to do. But exactly how is he going to do it? The President has requested him to make sure that uh, he reinstates respect in the police service. How is he going to do that? One of the key things that he's supposed to do is to make sure that the police is responsive when it comes to the people. All right, that is number one. And also, whenever there is a riot, a riot, that uh, the police does not use excessive force 
onto the people. Uh, just as we saw yesterday, uh, where uh, a, a first year student, first year student at uh, MMU was brutally uh, beaten by the police. If this guy does these three things, then he will have succeeded as the Inspector General of Police. And to the last story of the day, Panya Root Kitu Kidogo among Kenyan phrases added to Oxford Dictionary. The Oxford English Dictionary has added new East African words and phrases in its September 2024 update. Among them, Panya Root and Kitu Kidogo. Oxford English Dictionary's latest update was announced Wednesday and includes more than 600 new words for phrases and senses. Though war, the language of the Lua people has also made an entrance into uh, the Oxford English Dictionary. What story stood out for you? For me, Kiduri Kindiki and that the Luo story. Kindly do this. If you've watched this far, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you are always number a chill uh, to be notified whenever you put out a new uh, video. Remember, this is Alan Harbour today and it is powered by Include360. Also, check out the channel for new amazing content that has been created by your not-so-usual creators. Include360, all voices, all the time.